In August, just before Parliament rules, the Parliamentary Select Committee on Mines and Energy, uh, under the chairmanship of Honorable Atachia, submitted the report of the Committee on Mines and Energy on the 2023 work program of the Ghana National Petroleum Com Corporation, which is GMPC. Indeed, this is a constitutional requirement. And so we consider that in the third session of the eighth parliament of the Fourth Republic of Ghana, one of the key issues that came up for consideration was a request by GMPC to raise an amount of $620 million in a form of loan facility from Letasco. Indeed, those of you who were in the chamber and the Hansard would confirm, as well as the official report which I have here, signed by the chairman. And if you go to page 7 of the document and then page 8 of the document, Parliament took a decision that it cannot approve that amount in their work program. In fact, Parliament directed, and I read, the committee recommends to GMPC to lay the terms and conditions of the intended loan for consideration of the House in accordance with Article 181 of the Constitution. And so Parliament was explicit, Parliament was clear that GMPC should lay the terms and conditions of this loan agreement in accordance with Article 181 so that Parliament would consider same and make a determination. Ladies and gentlemen, to our utmost shock, I have come across documents and the minority side in particular have become aware that the presidency is using coercive force the power of the presidency to compel GMPC to proceed and execute this loan agreement without parliamentary approval. This is unconstitutional, this is unlawful, and this is a blatant disregard to the directive and resolution of parliament. Indeed, I will share with you a memo which we intercepted from the board of the GMPC. And on this note, let me express my gratitude to the board members who have kicked against this illegality. You are serving Ghana. You are doing the right thing. And I would encourage the board members, the few of them who have decided that they won't go by this directive, to remain resolute. Indeed, this is dated September 14th. And it says that the presidency called a meeting on 14th of September at 11 a.m. GMT. Those who were present include the Chief of Staff, Secretary to the President, our own Minister of Finance, Deputy Minister of Energy, the Chief Executive of Car Power, and Letasco on other, and other executives of both companies. The Presidency directed GMPC to seek for board approval and proceed to raise a total amount of 431 million United States dollars without parliamentary approval. I therefore want to call on the GMPC chief executive and the board that if you proceed with this directive, you'll be committing an illegality. You do not have that mandate and that power to enter into such an agreement without parliamentary approval. And the minority wish to serve notice that we shall use every necessary tool available to ensure that we do what is right and legal. But let me also say that this is not a fight for only the minority. This is a fight for the whole of Ghana. If we allow this government to plunder our oil resources, it will affect future generations. As if this is not enough, another document that was intercepted at the board level of the GMPC has five main components. The deed of indebtedness, the joint crude oil supply and purchase agreement, the prepayment facility agreement, the guarantee facility agreement, and the crude oil supply and purchase agreement. The key in this has to do with the fact that GMPC is raising this facility from Letasco and Look Oil and in return, 
they are giving out our oil to this company for the next five and a half years. Indeed, all of the oil in the ten fields has been encumbered, including royalties, including surface rentals, and our carried and participating interest. All of it for the next five and a half years would be escrowed to this company. More importantly, every year, a minimum of 3.8 million barrels of our crude oil will be given to Letasco for this loan that is being raised. No one even knows what exactly they want to use the money for, apart from some repayment of debt. In addition to that, they are charging an interest of sofa plus margin. And when you look at the document, and I refer you to page five of the document, apart from the sofa, the margin goes up to about 9.5% in respect of tranche B. So you pay the sofa rate and add 9.5% on that amount. This is mind-boggling. You cannot plunder our oil resources in the way and manner in which the Akufado government is going about. This is a government that received over $1.4 billion of oil receipts last year. The highest ever. And yet despite receiving all these huge revenues from our oil sales, you want to take $400 million today and mortgage our future for the next five and a half years and escrow the whole of the 10 filled oil. And when the 10 filled oil is not even enough, in this agreement, they are committing that they can extend it to other oils. And so how will the future government even function? This must stop immediately. And all of us, especially you members of the press, civil society, and well-meaning Ghanaians, must rise up and speak against this impunity, must rise up against this mismanagement and this plundering of our oil resources. We've had enough of this mismanagement. It's this same borrowing, reckless borrowing and mismanagement of proceeds from our borrowed money that has led us into this ditch where today government is compelling the ordinary Ghanaian banks to take a haircut. Government hasn't learned its lessons from this reckless borrowing. I am also aware that under the IMF agreement, covered entities such as GMPC do not have the authority and the permission to even raise such loans. And so to clandestinely, secretly, try to raise a colossal amount of 431 million without parliamentary approval and on the quiet, smacks of an illegality. And all of us must rise against that. Thank you very much.